One of the things that I've learned by watching those American Standard versus Squire or Gibson versus Epiphone videos is that the quality of the wood really does not affect the overall tone of an electric guitar. Yeah, there are going to be some tonal differences, sure, but could I tell that's an Epiphone, not a Gibson, or that's a Squire, not a Fender, American Standard in a recording? Could I tell that? Absolutely not. It would just sound like a different sounding electric guitar to me, but could I tell the quality of the wood or the price of the instrument? No, I couldn't. So that brings me to my beautiful cardboard curtain here. I spent $100 on a guitar this week that I truly love, something I've always wanted to have. Um, it's got pickups that I've always really liked that I've never owned, and now I got a set of them on this little gem behind the cardboard curtain. Quickly, I did want to mention though, people on the Facebook page, you guys already know what's under the box here because I posted about it this week when I ordered it. I also wanted to mention that I'm 25 people away from hitting 5,000 on Facebook, so there's a link down below. If you haven't joined us over on the Facebook page, please do that. Also, like a lot of YouTubers out there, I have noticed that about 93% of my regular viewers are not subscribers. You guys, I would love it, love it, love it if you could actually hit that subscribe button. I've been on YouTube for 10 years and I still don't have a silver play button. That You get them when you get 100,000 subscribers. So I get, you know, plenty of views, but a lot of you are not subscribed, so please, please, please consider it. Anyway, this intro is way too long. Let's look at the guitar. Let's talk about why I love it. Let's talk about what's wrong with it and what needs to be adjusted and all that kind of stuff, okay? Let's do it. All right, so you ready? Are you ready? Oh, da, 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 da. oh look at that. Okay, so this is it. Um, this is the new guitar. You're going to be seeing this guy a lot. This is a Les Paul Special from Epiphone with P90s. I have always loved the tone of P90 pickups. They have that sort of like water droplet-y sound. They're just super, super special sounding pickups. Nothing sounds like a P90 and um, so I'm super excited to have it. This was on sale at, I think it was a musician's friend for $124. And they had an open box special one that was 99 bucks. So I snatched this one up. This is the open box. There was absolutely not one blemish on it. Um, it is the like vintage faded yellow. I don't know what the color is called, but it's like the yellow, <laughs> yellow faded, something like that. Um, but it's a, it's a great little guitar. As you already know, I have that SG that I bought used. I think I got that for like $50 because the neck was broken and I just repaired it, made a video about that. But um, right out of the box, this guitar has some issues and it's all in the setup. This is super standard. You know me that like normally I will get a guitar and I'll take it to my luthier. But in this case, like I think him setting it up would cost about as much as I paid for the instrument. So I'm going to just show you what's wrong with it and we're going to talk about how we would go about fixing that and of course we're going to listen to it a little bit. Um, but let's get a closer look at this guitar. As is normal for these guitars when they come out of the factory, the action's pretty rough. I mean it's playable but it's not that great. It's way too high. Um, I don't know how well you can see. Um, but it's it's high. I have my little cruise tools thing here. I love this thing. It's like a like a Swiss Army knife for guitar players. I did make a review on this. Um, very very handy little thing. And so if I measure this, it's coming in around yeah around four maybe four and a half. Okay. So this is at the twelfth fret on the low E string and on the high E string, it's coming in about the same, maybe about three millimeters so it's too high uh, the intonation is totally on and no problems with that but also I did want to show you guys because it is really nice the bridge on this guitar I really like this it's look out it's so it's sort of a pretty bridge I hope you can see that well um, I'm pretty sure I focused this camera it looks like I did <laughs> anyway um, yeah I, it's going to be these will need to come down a little bit and I would assume that the truss rod it's got a little bit too much bow or relief in the neck. Um, I will make a neck adjustment to it. The fret ends are a little bit rough, not too bad. I could play this. Uh, now the fretboard itself hasn't been rounded on the edge here. 
it is super, you know, just this, this angle is definitely hard. And I would probably like that to be taken down a touch as well. Uh, but in general, the playability as far as when you're talking about the fret ends right now, totally fine, totally acceptable. I could play this guitar and not really freak out about that. Neck needs to be adjusted. The bridge needs to be adjusted. Intonation seems dead on. Um, tone's great. I really like it. But, you know, for a hundred bucks, you guys, come on, look at this. It's such a pretty thing. Uh, and then, you know, beyond how it looks, it sounds really good. You know, and one, oh, one of the other really popular things to do on these guitars is to switch out the uh, tuners on the back here. Um, you know, I don't know. I turned them. They seem to be holding the tune. My SG has these same exact tuners on it. They're, you know, they're cheap, whatever. Uh, I get it. But they, they work. They seem to be holding the tune. The low E is a little bit stiffer than the others, but in general, I think I'm going to hold on to them for now because, uh, well, I don't know, they're paid for and they do their jobs perfectly well. Obviously, all these stickers need to go away and stuff, but I literally just took this out of the box about an hour ago. And um, it's just such a fun little guitar. I really, really like it. Anyway, why don't we actually listen to this thing? Plugged in, going into GarageBand using the Surf and Stereo preset. Oh, listen to this guitar. center position on the switch here. Um, okay. That's the treble. This is the rhythm side. Back to the middle. a little high so um, it's not the easiest thing to like hit all the licks on but oh, I love the tone of these pickups I mean this is a hundred dollar guitar and these p90s sound just like every p90 I've ever played now of course there's like the Lindy Freelands there's other p90s out there they're all just gonna sound different but do they sound like real p90s yeah totally sounds like a real p90 to me I played lots of p90s over the years Gibson like the good ones and the cheap ones and overall they all sound like p90s Great little pickups, whoever put these together. Thumbs up, good job. had like one of those guitars. I mean, I'm 44 and it's one of these things, you know, I, I have tons and tons and tons of guitars, but there's always been the P90 thing. That's sort of, I haven't had one yet. And I got this in now and it makes me totally happy. A hundred dollar guitar has absolutely made me happy. I obviously have much more expensive guitars of all different shapes and sizes. Um, does this make me any less happy because it was only a hundred dollars? No, I, I, I totally like playing this thing. It's going to be super, super useful for recording purposes. Um, got plenty of output on the gain of these pickups. Just a great little guitar for a hundred bucks. You guys don't be afraid of the Epiphones I, you know, or the Squires. I haven't actually gotten any of those Squires yet. I should probably get one of those. Um, some of the funkier models, I think I would like to try some of those because there's so many fun guitars out there. And if you can get past like the vanity part of what it says up here and just sort of enjoy a guitar for what it is um yeah there's nothing wrong with getting an epiphone or a squire there's plenty of actually like really high-end players who swear by the squires now because they're so well made I, you know it's crazy to me because i used to do music retail and back in like the early like mid 90s the squires were not great they were really poorly built and there was a huge difference 
Now it's 2019 and that difference, the gap is so much smaller. It's pretty amazing that you can get a guitar that looks great, needs a little setup. I was gonna say plays great, doesn't play great. I will set this up today and it will play really well after the setup, but it looks great and it sounds great. What else do you want out of the guitar? You want it to play well, but I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know. This is just sort of not exactly an unboxing video, but I just wanted to sort of share my excitement with you about getting my first new electric guitar in several years. I don't think I've had, um, I don't know what it was, whatever the last electric guitar I got, but I'm usually like super into acoustics. That's like my main passion, but I love guitars in general. Uh, to get something new that I'm really excited about, I just wanted to share it with you guys because I think you might comprehend the feeling, you know? I got a new friend. I have a new friend in the house and it's here with all its other new friends. There's all these other guitars here. So it's, you know, it's it's come to a safe place. You're in a safe place, buddy. You're gonna have a good time here. We're gonna make lots of music. You're gonna be in lots of videos. People are gonna like you, I hope. Um, hey, do, do any of you guys have one of these little Epiphone uh, Les Paul specials? Anything you wanna say? I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. I like my SG. I like this one with the P90 on it. What do you think? What do you guys think? All right, I think that's about it for today. Hope you enjoyed this little video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't found me on the Facebook, <laughs> find me on the Facebook. And otherwise, peace and love. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.